Okay, now we're going to do workshop six, water wheel with generator. And you might want to get all the things you need first. And you're going to need the water wheel that you built in workshop one. So we're going to start with one large frame, one short frame, one small square frame, and five hole rod. So you're going to take two anchor pins and put them into the third hole from the end of the short frame, so leaving two holes empty. Then you're going to connect the short frame to the square frame. So now we have image number one. So moving on to image number two, you're going to take this and attach the five hole rod to these two anchor pins right here. So now moving on to image number three, you're going to take this and stick it into the large frame leaving four holes empty, so in the fifth hole, one, two, three, four, five. Now moving on to image number four, you're going to take another short frame, you're going to stick a square frame into it, then you're going to stick two anchor pins in the bottom and top of this short frame, in the middle, and then you're going to stick a short rod onto the two anchor pins, first on the end hole and then on the second to last hole, so leaving one hole here empty. Then moving on to image number five, you're going to leave two holes empty and stick this again into this large frame. So now moving on to image number six, you're going to take a long axle, you're going to stick first a large gear on it, with the stop on the right side, so the stop is right here. Then you're going to stick an axle lock and a washer. Then you're going to put it through the fourth hole from the bottom on this short rod right here. So count one, two, three, and then in the fourth hole stick this long axle right in. Then you're going to add a small gear onto this side of the long axle. So this right here should look like image 6B. And you can also see this in image number 7. So now moving on to image 8, we're going to need two long rods, one five hole rod, and a long axle. And we're going to stick anchor pins in the ends of the five hole rod. You're going to put these anchor pins into the side of the long rod with the hole that's farther from the end. So not this side, but this side. And you're going to count one, two, three, four, and in the fourth hole, you're going to stick it in. So it looks like this. Then you're going to stick a long axle through the middle hole right here. And now moving on to image number nine, you're going to add a washer and an axle lock. And you're going to push it all the way to this five hole rod. Then you're going to add a large yellow gear. You're going to add your water wheel. And you want to make sure that the orientation of the blades matches the orientation in image 10. And then you're going to add two large yellow gears on this long axle. Okay, so now we're going to fit this piece together with this piece. But first we're going to want to add washers and anchor pins on all four corners of this large frame. So here's one two, three, and four. Okay, so now we're going to add this piece. We're going to stick these two long rods onto these two anchor pins, and this long axle should go through the second hole in this short rod right here. And you can see how this long axle fits into this short rod in image 12B. And this setup is what you can see in image 13. So now moving on to image 14, you're going to need two more long rods, 
two more five hole rods, a medium axle, a washer, an axle lock, a large yellow gear, and a small yellow gear, and four anchor pins. So you're going to put anchor pins in the end holes of both of these five hole rods, and then you're going to stick them into these long rods and you want to stick one of them on the side with the hole that's closer to the bottom so this side with the hole that's closer to the bottom rather than this side where it's farther away you're going to stick the anchor pins in the second holes like this and then you're going to leave one hole empty and stick the other five hole rod the anchor pins like this. Then you're going to stick a medium axle through the middle hole in this top five hole rod. Then you're going to stick a washer, an axle lock, a large yellow gear, and a small yellow gear. So now it looks like image number 15. Okay, so now we're going to combine this piece with this piece. And we're going to stick these two long rods on these two anchor pins. This medium axle should go into the middle hole of this five hole rod. And this long axle should go into the medium hole of this five hole rod. So you might have to push the axles back a little bit. And you might want to tighten up the axle locks. And you can see a close-up of how these work in image 17. So now moving on to image 18, you're going to stick four anchor pins on the top corner holes of the large frames. Like that. And then you're going to take a large frame and put all of these into holes in the large frame, like this. Then you're going to stick two more anchor pins into these top holes, one right here and one right here. And then you're going to stick two three hole rods right onto them. So the top hole should go onto this anchor pin. And onto these two, you're going to add the universal adapter. If it doesn't have little pieces sticking out, you might have to stick two anchor pins in it. And you're going to want to stick a small gear on the axle. And then these two are going to fit right into the bottom holes of these three hole rods. So now we have image 19. So now we're going to move on to image 20, and you're going to need an LED. We're going to stick that LED into the white socket in the back here. And you're going to want to make sure that you fit the wires of the LED snugly inside the little socket. So this is what it looks like in image 21. And now we have our water wheel with our generator. Now we're going to do experiment 8 where the water wheel makes the LED light up. So you're going to want the setup inside of some kind of shallow basin or you're going to want to do this outside because you're going to be using water. And you'll want a pitcher of water or some other source of water like a hose and you're going to pour it right into the paddles of the water wheel and watch the LED light up. And if the LED doesn't light up, that's because it might have the incorrect orientation, so you can try turning it around. You also want to make sure that all the appropriate gears are meshing. You also want to make sure that all the appropriate gears are meshing. So this small gear should mesh with this large gear, this large gear should mesh with this small gear, and this large gear should mesh with this small gear, so that when the water wheel turns, it turns all of the gears together and ultimately it ends up turning this axle on the adapter. So now let's add water to the water wheel and see what happens. And you'll want to add it right onto the front of the water wheel where it's turning 
and you'll want to add it with quite a bit of pressure. So here we go. And it lights up the LED.